Hi everyone, today I'm going to take you for a little tour of Rambutri village, still in Bangkok and literally only a stone's throw away from Koh San Road. But this little place has got a totally different vibe about it. I'm also seeing a little restaurant with fish and chips on its menu. Well, I've been living on Thai food, Thai street food for the last few weeks and much as I love Thai street food, I thought it's about time I tried something a little bit trad British. And so I'm going to be checking out this little restaurant and seeing what fish and chips in Thailand uh, tastes like. Do you think that's a good idea? Hmm, wait and see. I've decided to check into the Mango Lagoon Hotel on Rambutri Road. Now I know it's not five star, it's not the Ritz, but I have stayed here before so I do know it's a safe bet. And they have got an absolutely fantastic swimming pool cost me 900 baht a night, which is about 25 quid, something like that. So let's see what this room has to offer. Looking good so far. Bathroom, toilet, shower, Amazing air conditioning, fantastic double sided bed, great work table. I hope the Wi Fi is good. Uh, window with a view, sort of view. Yeah, beautiful. The swimming pool at the Mango Lagoon is absolutely amazing and definitely one of the main selling points for this hotel for me. Um, but yeah, absolutely beautiful, fantastic for having a midday swim or even an early evening swim. Yeah, the Mango Lagoon. Hostels, massage parlours, sleep within hotel. It's more of a backpackers. Probably get it for about 15 quid a night. If that's what you choose to do, or that's how you plan to travel, it's up to you. Hundred cannabis. Yeah, all going on here. And as I say, if you are in, uh, if you are planning to visit Thailand and stay in Bangkok for a couple of nights you really can't do much worse than uh, staying here it's chilled out there's everything around you um, there's tuk-tuks and taxis all around you so if you want to venture into central Bangkok uh, it's easy enough to do as well or if you just want to get over your jet lag chill out for a little bit um, this road is an absolute nightmare Try and cross with that. Get run over. The idea is not to wait, just go for it. Go for gold with your hand in your life, with your life in your hands. As you can see, anyway, there's a second part of Rambutri. This is actually known as Rambutri Village. And uh, yeah, it's absolutely fantastic. I love it because it is chilled out. You know, it's got your little bars, little restaurants and everything else you need. And if you want a fantastic Armani suit made to measure, then you are definitely in the right place. This gentleman here, he will sell you an Armani suit and made it, make it to measure. Very the finest quality cloth, of course. And yeah, at a good price as well. Moving on regardless. suits here. Yeah, ask Whatever that means, I don't know. 
translate in the comments below. But yeah, this is towards the other end of Rambo Tree Village, as they call it. Nice little shop there for rent, if anyone wants to rent a shop to start a business here. Village, BB House um, Hotel, Residence. Again, all these hotels are, are, are nice and cheap. And check them out online, there's links below for them. There's a link. Well, as per usual, just as I decide to start filming, guess what? This is the Hamburg Bay. Um, just to show you that it does actually rain in Thailand. But it's nice rain and I'm still going to carry on doing this video on Rambutri Road because I won't have time tomorrow, I'm flying back to UK. But anyway, it's Ram Rambutri Road in the rain. <laughs> it is actually a beautiful road and a beautiful village and well worth a visit. One hour later. I'm in, I am in Rambutri, which is just close to Kosan Road. I've decided to stop off at this little restaurant. I think it's called Sofa Bar, uh, as usual. Um, they're not very good at advertising their bars, these uh, guys. Anyway, besides that, past the menu and just thought, do you know what? I'm going to go for the fish and chips, which is what I've done. Uh, fish and chips, 150 baht which is about £3.50. There is other stuff on here. But yeah, so I'm gonna treat myself to fish and chips in Thailand, in Rambu Tree Road. Okay, I just had to do this fish and chips in Thailand. I know you're gonna slate me for it, but it had to be done, and yes, A bit of a far, far cry from a real thing. It's more of a breaded fish um, than a battered fish. But let's tuck it to it and check this uh, fish and chips out and see what it's like. <laughs> Fish and chips. 
I've got to be honest, it was vile. It was horrible. I still ate it because I paid for it. And if I pay for something, I eat it. Well, within reason, obviously. But yeah, I definitely give that a wide berth and stick to the Thai food. Simple as that. Uh, nothing against the restaurant. Obviously, they must be good Thai food and some other stuff. And also, it's not going to be the same cod chips everywhere you go. There are some places that will probably do a better cod in batter for you. But this particular one was a breaded frozen jobby. I'll leave a, I'll put a picture of it. It would cost me 150 baht altogether, which is peanuts. But at the same time, yeah, give it a miss. Chef's travelled. Kevin Hansen, thanks for watching.